So I get this um, message from a guy on my Patreon. He's been a Patreon for at least a year. Hey, Joe, I need, he needs to cancel his account. I'm 66 and I need to conserve money. I lost about half of my IRA savings. I had silver and gold stored at the First State Depository and it went into receivership bankruptcy. About a thousand people lost 90% of what they had stored there. Most of the accounts were IRA accounts. Skimming down the list of missing metal, one person lost 70,000 ounces of silver, about $1.7 million worth. So I replied, first of all, here's how you cancel your membership. You know, I can't do it for you. <clears throat> but how exactly did it get lost? If you give someone something to store in a location, you're just... It should be stored in a location waiting for you, right? But I guess they had these, you know, again, these IRA accounts. Do they really have the items they say they do? Or do they just take everybody's effing money and tell you that they got these things and never got them for you? But again, if it's a depository, first state depository company. Welcome to the website established by the court-appointed receiver, Kelly Crawford, Mr. Crawford, was appointed the receiver by the United States District Court for the District of Delaware, the receivership court, in a lawsuit brought by the CTFC or CFTC, Commodities Future Trading Commission, against the defendants, First State Depository Company, LLC, Argent Asset Group, LLC, and Robert Leroy Higgins, in case number 22-1266. So I'm gonna maybe do a little research on some of these names. The purpose of this whole website or this website is to provide information regarding the receivership to persons or entities who did business with the defendants. Download the complaint, download the statutory retaining restraining order, download the doc order 57 a preliminary injunction, court approves receiver's proposed distribution and claims adjudication process February 15th, 2023. So it gets to how do you file a claim? Da, 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 da. The report of the receiver's accountants, which includes their audit and physical inventory of the assets at 100 Todd's Lane, Wilmington, Delaware, is available here. Depositors using your FSD account number, please open Exhibit A and find your account number on Exhibit 1 first. If your account number is not listed on Exhibit 1, then go to Exhibit 2 and locate your account. Exhibit 3 will then provide you the details of what was located and what was located, not located, for your account. So document, I guess that's this one, Doc 7 Exhibit A, PDF file, Exhibit A, 1, 2, and 3. There's a lot of pages here. Um, Probably more than I'm going to go through right now, but I'm just trying to get down. Is there a, uh, looks like this happened late last year. Um, let me scroll down big time because there's a lot of pages to this. Coin type, vault, 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 stored, location, total bars expected in a vault, 12,023. Total bars located, 11,252. It's not too far off. Silver bar, 100. Those are 10-ounce bars. Silver bar is 100 ounce, located in the vaults, 6,131 expected, 4,631 or 35 located. Silver bar, 1,000 ounce expected, which is weird. Total bars expected, 1. Total bars located, 355. 1,000 ounce bars expected, one. 
found 355. So there's 354 additional thousand bar, uh, silver, silver thousand ounce bars. Does that mean they were taking and lending out your silver at that location for a period of time to earn money, interest on it, because you know how this whole scam goes. And then after a period of time, those who borrowed the silver gave it back. You know, it's kind of like interest, if you will, make like almost earning interest on a loan and received back these thousand ounce bars. The problem is, <clears throat> and all this added up, total silver bars, period, didn't matter, matter the size or the ounces, 18,155 you know, silver objects expected, 16,247 located. So again, not too awfully far off. And he was saying 90%, what if he's got that backwards? About a thousand people lost 90% of what they had stored there. Or was it the other way? You only lost 10%. Because again, this is it's a small number. But nonetheless, during our inventory procedures, we observed multiple instances of empty deposit boxes that FSDC's inventory reports indicated should have contained items. In some instances, empty boxes contained red tags with varying notes, including IOU and or a dash, like hyphen, in an item description. In other instances, we located deposit boxes that contained only part of the expected contents. In yet other cases, we located deposit boxes that appeared to be complete and in agreement with FSDC's inventory management system reports. Lastly, we observed other deposit boxes that were located with identifiers not indicated at all anywhere in the FSDC inventory reports, which is strange. Baker Tilly has documented this information and other discrepancies for use during the upcoming claims process. Customer accounts with no discrepancies, 1,044. Customer accounts with only excess inventory, 46. Customer accounts with inventory not located, 1,006. So maybe that's what he's talking about. You know, because what do you say, 1,000, he told me? Yeah, about a thousand people lost ninety percent. So yeah, he's 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 talking right, and I'm guessing he's one of the ninety percent because he's been just been raked over the coals. So this is interesting because I had a dream not too long ago. I told you all about. I'm at a bank. I'm in like a little private room, but I it has like a little thing up to my chest almost, you know, I could look over and look out and see like I'm in a room, but I it, it, like, I don't know if there's a glass or whatever, but I could see out and I'm in there looking down, duck down below this thing. And these are little square box looking things. I'm opening them and it's a combination lock. And I'm like a thief. I said this to you before. I'm a, I'm a thief in the dream and I'm, I'm cracking the things. Okay. Right there. Other way. Click, click, click. Okay. Got it. Open it, dump it out. And there were precious metals were pretty much what was in these boxes. And there was three or four of them. And I got to the final one, emptied it out. And there was a little bit of gold, but it was, as I said, it was mostly silver. And again, from what I just read, you sounds like most all stuff just stored there was silver, most of it. And I filled my pockets up because I'm gonna leave. I stole, you know, from these basically safety deposit boxes or safe deposit boxes. That's what I told you I got from the dream. These are safe deposit boxes. I said it. When I did the video, if you have anything in a safe deposit box anywhere, get it the F out of there because I just got this dream. It's going to be stolen. It's going to be gone. See you later. So the beginning of that dream, there was balloons, three of them, I think, floating in the hallway or the, or the lobby of the bank. And I just see inside of them, there's wads of cash in every one of these three balloons. And then all of a sudden, pop, pop, pop. Poof, gone, the balloon's gone, and the cash is gone. It just all evaporated, pop, 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 that fast, gone. Nothing there. Then I'm inside there stealing these gold, or uh, the, the silver, mostly silver, in these safe deposit boxes. Then a guy from the bank 
who works there. I've got some cash. Does anybody need some cash? You know, he's talking to the customers who are there. I do. I say to him, I do. I need some. How much do you need? Can I get like 10K out? He's like, I can give you $50. Maybe in the Goonies, that's okay. $50 bill. You guys, $50 bill. I found the money to save the Goondocks. $50 bill. No, it's not. It's phony. These are fakes. No, it's not. Yeah, look, it's a counterfeit. I didn't see counterfeit money in those balloons. It was real money, but it was gone. Poof, gone. And you can only offer $50 a day. Well, he didn't say per day, but he said $50. And I took that as that's what you're going to be able to get out probably every day. 50 bucks. They did that in Greece in 2008 when the crisis hit. They stopped people from withdrawing their own effing money from the banks. And I told you this was a little while ago. It was two, three, what, two, three months ago now? I don't know. I got the dream. I said, well, I better go tell everybody. So this guy that was, that was or about to be a was Patreon subscriber because he got screwed over. He's trying to save money. Had his medals which I think it was through an IRA. You know, you get an IRA, you control what you want to invest in. Well, I want to, I want to, I want to invest in precious metals. Oh, okay, you can, but you got to use these companies to keep your metals over there. Some, there's a few, I think, IRAs where you can buy your own metal, store it at your house, and it still is considered an IRA somehow. And I'm not familiar with it. Don't ask me. Um... But the, at the end of the day, it's a Bitcoin silver coin. And uh, yeah, 10, 10 ounce. JC, thank you, JC. JC, what you gonna do? I thank you for giving the silver from, not me to you, you to me. Um, but guess what? Where is it stored at? In my effing house at this point, because it's sitting here, you know, it's sitting here at my desk, my computer desk. Because every great once in a while, I need to grab something like that and show you something like I just did for some certain reason. And guess what the reason is today? As long as I've had my YouTube channel, I've been talking about silver because I was into silver before I started even uh, doing my YouTube channel. I created it in 2006, the channel, never used it until 2009. I was buying silver for my first time with my dad, 2007. He kind of got me into it. And I researched, got, oh, let me do, let me play the commodities market. I'm going to, what the, anyways, I'll just stop now. Evelyn's calling. If you don't hold it, you don't own it. 